Hi, you guys doing today? It's I got some cool stuff here that I found in the 99 cent store. I don't usually go into the 99 cent store, but I actually woke up early to go to Free Comic Book Day. And for you'll probably see this after Free Comic Book Day is over and I do a haul video because I'm still going to go do that. My shop didn't open early like they usually do for Free Comic Book Day. I don't know what happened there. Uh, I was like, what the hell? Really? We're not opening early for Free Comic Book Day? But yeah, they didn't. I don't know if it was like the weather or what. Or there's just not a lot of love this year for Free Comic Book Day. But I was like, what happened? So, But yeah, I'm going to go check that out when they open. But I got uh, these uh, figures here. Uh, some cool stuff. I'm actually surprised they had these. And I've never seen these before, any of these. Um, and I'm just going to show you them really quick. Um, I guess we'll start with this one. So this is Alan Grant from Jurassic Park. Now, the thing about 99 cent stores, they're not like the Dollar Tree where everything's like a dollar, dollar twenty-five. They have fluctuating prices. And I think that's just because what I understand about the 99 cent store, they just get a lot of their stuff by stuff from other stores that don't sell, kind of like Five Below does. So if Five Below get something in it's like another store can sell it so they're just selling it because they need it gone sort of thing that's what Funko's like that's why you're seeing a lot of Funko Pop show up at Five Below if I had a Five Below closer to me I'd actually probably go to Five Below more often but I do not but yeah I'm just saying so yeah but I mean they usually don't have anything I need so I'm just like okay I'm trying to get this open here and yeah it's got a little twist ties here at the bottom but yeah I, I'm surprised about this because I didn't even know these existed and this is pretty cool you know I'm a big fan of the OG Jurassic Park I don't like Jurassic World and that stuff so whenever I see OG like original Jurassic Park type stuff that's pretty cool and uh, this is part of a set that they only apparently did this dinosaur what is this one uh, the raptor you can see it on the back. And they did another one I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, surprised they didn't do Laura Dern or uh, John Hammond. But maybe they did. And this is just the first wave. I don't know. Because sometimes a lot of figures are like that. They do multiple waves with different characters and stuff. Still really neat. like the design on that. It's, it's, I also like that the bases are different fossils. If you can kind of see. I don't know why you can see that. But it's a different fossil than the other one I'm going to show you. Though I, the base is a little bit weird because he wobbles. Like, I'm like, is it like a top? Because <laughs> it spins like a top. You know what I'm talking about? Like, tops? I don't know if I'm. I don't know. This one is Dr. Ian Malcolm, which, uh, huge Jeff Goldblum fan. This movie was one of the first movies I ever saw with him in it. And I'm, I never since then have been a huge Jeff Goldblum fan. Um,. So, he, I don't know why, I just really like him. I think he's a funny, cool guy. And, I, you know, he's one of those actors, whenever he makes, like, guest appearances in movies and TV shows, I'm always happy to see him, sort of thing. Um, but, yeah, this one is a little bit weird to me. Because this one... I like the the different fossil on the base, like I said, but he looks fine as the character. But then he just has this water cup down here. I think that's a water cup, and it just looks weird. Like, why is that there? Like, is this character known for drinking water cups? I, I don't know. But these pop, these figures, almost a pops. <laughs> these figures look pretty cool and very unique uh, things to have in the collection. You're not going to see a lot of these, I don't think. And they were like three bucks a piece, which is not bad. Then I found this. These are called blow-ups, and they're, like, of different musicians. And they had a few there. Um, that They had, like, one of the members of KISS. I didn't get that one. Because even though I'm a big KISS fan, I don't want just one of them. I want the whole band sort of thing. And there apparently was more in the set that they did not have. But this one is uh, Angus Young. Which is a pretty cool design. I actually like that. Now you look at it and it's like 
And then, yeah, it's like a little blow-up figure, like a punching bag, you know, like you go, ugh, ugh. But, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard. It's heavy. I like how it's got the little thing in the back, like it's all blow up. But yeah, and then he's got his guitar in the back, which is cool. Cool looking figure, you know. I like Angus Young. I love HTDC, so I gotta have that. And then this one was the one I was really excited about. I love Ozzy Osbourne, so I grabbed this one. Also three bucks. Yeah, he's got the little hand tattoo or whatever he says, Ozzy. He's got his cross on him, him yelling. And he's got the little blow up thing in the back. Yeah, I thought these were cool. You know, musician collectibles are really cool because, you know, there's not a lot of them, but, they're, but they are very collectible because, you know, musicians do have diehard fan bases. You know, we're, we're talking about those guys that go to concerts, buy every album sort of things. You know, where, like, stuff like Jurassic Park. Yeah, I mean, sure, it has a, a da it, I'm sure it has a diehard fan base. It does, right? But not in the same way musicians do. And so when you see musician collectibles, they're just always cool to have because there's not a lot of them. And they more than likely do become pretty valuable just because of that. I don't know how valuable these are going to be because they are kind of weird. I mean... They look like fucking bowling pins, but, you know, I like them. You know, I don't know. 